surface comparison. This topic deals with not only calculate the volume between two surfaces but also comparing their surfaces by depth shading. We're going to create a new project using the 12D model 14 icon. Select new. Browse to the volumes folder and click select folder and type in the project name depth shading select new we will not use the setup project details panel or the recalc panel and we will maximize plan view one all the data we require here is, is in one 12d ASCII file so we'll select the, the open working folder icon We'll browse back up to volumes and grab the file depth shading survey.12da and select read. If we go to our minus button, we can see some original data, some stripping data, and two tins. So let's firstly turn off the stripping data and also the stripping tin. We will toggle on the contours and as the ground is very flat and the contour interval is one meter, we will adjust the contour interval using the properties button, tin settings, change the contour increment to 0.1, enter, and the bold increment to 0.2, enter. Click finish and you can now see the contours. We can save away a list of models here. We're just going to call the file original survey. So we select view, model save restore. The file name will be original survey and the view we're going to save is view 1 and we select save. If we wanted to restore this into a particular view, we could just go to restore, pick the file, pick the view we want to restore into, and the models will turn on in that view. OK, we'll now turn off the original data and turn on the stripping models. So it'll be stripping surface, surface points, and tin stripping. Again, we're going to save the model list under view model save restore the file name this time will be stripped survey and the view to save again will be view one select save then finish okay the next step prior to performing a volume calculation is to check that the strip surface sits inside the original surface so if we go to our plus button and turn on tin original and go to our toggle button and toggle off the tin contours so here you can see the magenta triangles which represent the strip surface sitting fully inside the green triangles representing the original survey right we're now ready to do our volume so to do this we're going to do tin to tin as we've seen previously we select volumes, exact, tin to tin. The original tin is original. The new tin is stripping. And the report file will be stripping volume. We can pick the polygon icon and pick on the edge of the stripping and select volume. If we look at the report we have a total cut of 1552 cubic meters and the polygon plan area was 14,693. We can finish this option now 
The next option we're going to deal with is creating depth shading. This indicates the actual depth across the site and is very useful where there are volume disputes. So we select the option Tins, Color, Tins Depths Color. The original tin is original, the new tin is stripping. Now in this case we're going to be using a range file. If you select the folder icon, select browse and go back up to the volumes folder you'll see a file depth shading. Select this file. Now if we open this file up, so click on folder and then open you'll see that what it is is basically a file that has a from and to range along with a color. So when it works out the depth, depending on what the depth is, it will shade it a certain color. Okay, we can exit the range file. The plan view to paint will be this view, so we select view 1. And for the model for faces, we're just going to type in depth faces. We clean models beforehand and for the polygon we re-pick the edge of the strip surface and select color. Now as soon as you move the cursor you'll see that the shading disappears. So if we go to our plus button we're just going to turn that model on. And what we have is color indicating the depth of cut. So in this area there's quite extensive cut. Yellow is generally the area that was proposed, which is about 100 millimeters of cut. Red is where it's been excessively cut, and green is where it's been undercut. So obviously the color is one thing, but we need to be able to label it so that the end user knows what they're looking at. So we're going to tabulate the range file. Just create a little table off to the side. So to do this we select CAD drafting, text and tables, tabulate range file. Firstly the range type we're going to tabulate will be depth. We can pick the range file which was up under the volumes folder. The range units we're just going to manually type in meters so for the location we pick on the little icon and we're going to pick about here left click middle click and that will be the top left of the table. For the heading we're just going to type in stripping depths. Now we have to also set up the actual model and text information so we select font. The model name we'll change that to txt depth table the color will be red the size will be 2 these are in world units the style will be aerial we then click set finish and process now don't hit finish yet until we've checked what we've done if we go to our plus button and turn on the model TXT depth table you'll then see a table has been placed showing what the actual colors mean. We can then select finish on the range file tabulation panel.